In addition to our naval, military and air forces, which we have present in Singapore today, a large fleet is anchored off Port Swettenham and Port Dixon, and a large force started disembarking from them at daylight on the 9th of September. When I visited the beaches yesterday, men were landing in an endless stream. As I speak, there are 100,000 men ashore. This invasion would have taken place on the 9th of September, whether the Japanese had resisted or not. I wish to make this plain. The surrender today is no negotiated surrender. The Japanese are submitting to superior force, now massed here. some months to come, only SIAC will be in a position to undertake such vital tasks as repatriating our prisoners of war and civilian internees, who number close on 200,000 and have the first claim on us. In the meantime, I know you will agree that our prisoners of war, who have suffered for so long out here, must have the first call on shipping space to take them home. But I shall do everything in my power to see that those of you who are due for release and repat get home as fast as shipping and the rate of replacement permit. All this will call for a great deal of planning, hard and practical work, initiative and understanding. to stand no nonsense from these people. You will have my support in taking the firmest measures against any attempt at obstinacy, impotence or non-cooperation. I have today received the surrender of the Supreme Commander of the Japanese forces that you have been fighting. And I have accepted the surrender on behalf of all of you. Field Marshal Count Terauchi, the Supreme Commander of the Japanese forces in this area is at the present time an ill man, having had a stroke last April, and I therefore decided to accept his surrender through General Itagaki. But I have ordered the Field Marshal to report to me in person as soon as he is strong enough to travel, and you may all rest assured that I shall put up with no evasion or trickery on the part of any defeated Japanese however important he may consider himself. I wish you all to know the gratitude and the pride that I feel towards every man and woman in this command today. You beat the Japanese soldier in battle, inflicting six times the number of deaths that he was able to inflict on you, and you chased him out of Burma. The defeat of Japan last month is the first in history. <laughs>